Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Beloved, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me over to Psalm number 61. And today we'll be looking at verse number 2 as our text verse of Scripture. Hey, get that good cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness, what better way to start a brand new day, fresh coffee, and a fresh word from God. Notice, if you will, Psalm 61, verse number 2. The Bible says here, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word today. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled, A Rock to Lean On. A Rock to Lean On. You know, many people think when you get to be a child of God that you don't ever have any problems anymore, that all problems will cease to be. But friend, that's just not true. Uh, When you become a Christian, it doesn't mean that you will live on a perpetual high all the time. I mean, if you stop and look at some of the greatest men of God that ever lived, Elijah hid himself in a cave. He's the one that comes to mind this morning. Uh, There were many times that David was low in his life and he struggled. And uh, you and I, too, will go through times like that. In fact, we find ourselves right in the midst of, of one of those times right now. It began last year, and we thought this would be a better year, but this year seems it just seems to carry on. So we find ourselves not on a perpetual high, but we find ourselves uh, kind of feeling like we've hit rock bottom. Well, the psalmist David went down to the very depths. He went just as low as one could go. And if you study the life of the Apostle Paul, he found himself in a prison, and so he went just as low as he could go. But even in the midst of all their circumstances, they were able to see and find God's amazing grace. Friend, no matter what you may face in this life, no matter what circumstances you may be dealing with or going through right now, if you will but search your heart, you can find God's amazing grace if you're saved by that marvelous grace. You can find it. You can find God's grace. You can find God's peace. And you can find God's joy within yourself. And friend, it's the joy of the Lord that will strengthen you to go through any circumstance that you'll ever face. The tears may come. The pressures may be felt. The temptations may slap you. But friend, let me tell you something. There is a new dimension. There is a new direction. There is a new power in life to face the circumstances that we're living in. Always remember this. When you hit rock bottom, it's at rock bottom that you learn that Jesus is the rock at the bottom. Now, I could add to that, you know how I know that. Friend, I know what it is to hit rock bottom. But now, if you look at the text verse of Scripture, Uh, It says, when my heart is overwhelmed, we find ourselves in overwhelming times right now. Listen to what David said, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Now, what does that tell us? David was lower than rock bottom, but yet 
he asked God to lead him to the rock that was higher than he was. Why? Because he knew that that was a rock to lean on. Lean on the rock. Jesus Christ is the rock. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this beautiful verse of Scripture that reminds us that when we feel overwhelmed, that you can lead us to the rock that is higher than I. You supply and give to us a rock to lean on. And God, the problem with most of us is we just don't lean on that rock. I think about uh, the preacher who wrote a sermon many, many years ago and titled it, Prop Me Up on My Leaning Side. God, we ask you to prop us up against that leaning side on the rock that is higher than I. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. Uh, remember, you be a blessing to someone else. Your life could be the only Bible that some may ever see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you now. Have a good day.